Alright, well, welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto V Angry Rant video that we basically got for you guys for today. So, this is the beginning of the PS5 showcase trailer of the expanded and enhanced edition of Grand Theft Auto V as well you know, as Grand Theft Auto Online that Rockstar, you know, loves to brag about because, oh, it's such an online-only game, that's the best thing about it, and da-da-da, even though GTA V, when it originally released, it was, it was basically the story that made it so good, but so yeah, we're gonna start off right here with this first video, with this first screenshot of it, like, Look at the screenshot. There's literally, like, there's nothing different. Ab like, it literally looks the exact same as the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 version of the game. Like, there's nothing different whatsoever. I mean, look at the trees literally in the background. Look at the wires of the lines. And look at the cars down here at the bottom right. It's literally the exact same, and then it says, Grand Theft Auto 5 and internet connection required, console, play, blah, 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 subscription, like, you know, they're trying to make it out, saying, like, oh, you gotta have Xbox Live Gold or PlayStation Plus in order to play online, so, like, yeah, like, they're just bragging, they're just bragging about the online, and basically not even talking about mainly, you know, as much as the storyline, and then you see the sun here in the background and it literally it looks exactly the same as the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One version. So, let's play it and go to the next trailer. All right, and look at this right here. Look at this. Literally, this is the exact same look as if you're were right now on the freaking PlayStation 4 and Xbox One version. Uh, looking at the same exact view of the town. Like, just look at this. Like, the stars look literally the same. The city looks absolutely just the same. Like, look at the lights and the the buildings. Like, it's exactly the same. Like, what did they improve to consider this a freaking enhanced game? Like, like I was so freaking excited for this game, but now... I'm not as much excited anymore for it as I once was because they were making it out saying, oh, this is going to be the expanded and enhanced, so this is definitely going to be way more different. This is not just going to be a simple port, da-da-da, this and that, that they were bragging about. But as you can already see with the first two screenshots of the trailer and the now the city background, it literally looks basically basically just the Xbox One and PS4 versions. Like, even with the simple port that they did from the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 that they did to the PS4 and Xbox One, that was just a simple port, like they said, and there was way, it was so much better. You seen grass, you seen better textures, it was a big step up, and now they're counting this saying that this is just way more this like there's a lot more work to it than just a simple part they got to redo a lot of stuff but it literally looks the exact same as the current version that is out right now how can you not see that rockstar like literally it is the freaking exact same freaking thing as the current version that you have on the PlayStation 4 and I've seen my PC that can play at 4K look better than this. So, moving on. And as you can see, the faces don't literally look like they're that much upgraded. They look exactly the freaking same. And supposedly, as you can see right here, Lester is sitting in two chairs like there's a freaking glitch in the chair. How the freak can you put a freaking trailer that 
literally freaking is glitched and not make it like you you know like you can see like right here there literally looks like it literally looks like lester is sitting in literally two chairs basically in like together glitched through like how in the freak and and here it goes welcome back to los santos yeah baby let's welcome back to a prettier looking los santos that literally looks exactly the same as the current version of los santos yeah <laughs> i'm sorry but yeah i just gotta freaking do this but yeah and as you can see right here now this there was something that i did seen a little bit better like i can definitely tell that like on the edges like like the pictures like you can see on the edge of the mountain and the edge of the plane and whatnot now i did notice just a tiny bit of a difference but that's because i can honestly like see the 4k or whatever that they were showing but literally just the the majority of this picture it literally looks really the same as the freaking playstation 4 and xbox one versions like literally there is nothing different about it the sun looks exactly the same above mount chiliad like it literally looks exactly the same and even the water from the glare of the sun below mount chiliad it, like i'm telling you like that's what you get on the current xbox one and ps4 version like literally there is nothing freaking different about this expanded edition of gj5 as they're making it out to be but let's go ahead and moving forward and as you can see yep and then here's where the stuff gets a little bit out of hand and everybody literally does not even get this but look what it says it says an enhanced gameplay where the freak is the enhanced gameplay it's literally the freaking exact same as the freaking like that's how it plays right now on the playstation 4 and xbox one and hell it plays just like that even on the playstation 3 and xbox 360 versions of the game like literally it plays just like that so what is the enhanced gameplay like what is there for an enhanced gameplay exactly there's nothing that they are showing that is enhanced gameplay and now seamless character switching you can literally do that right freaking now on basically every freaking version that you have now if you play the ps4 and xbox one versions of grand theft auto 5 on the series x and s or playstation 5 versions yeah you're definitely going to be able to swap characters way quicker even vile backwards compatibility so the seamless character switching you could literally do that right now on pc and you could even do that on the playstation 4 and xbox one and it would it literally just takes freaking just a few seconds like literally that is the most like stupidest freaking one that i personally think is the seamless character transfer like in an explosive action like literally that looks exactly like and then and here's another thing also like look at the cars yellow freaking tags are you kidding me like that literally does not look freaking realistic at all whatsoever like are you kidding me like that has to literally be a freaking bug that was in this trailer so yeah rockstar basically i don't know what it is but they didn't and then right here's where it says and much more but what is there much more about it literally like look at the rest of it it literally looks exactly the same and then all oh, look at there also you get to experience grand theft auto online and watch it here it's literally not showing nothing whatsoever like look at this look at the sunset in the distance look at the freaking deluxos and the helicopter and then you get this right here coming to playstation 5 march 2022 with a delay and this game was originally supposed to come out 
on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S consoles literally on November 11th, 2021. And as from what I was told and from what I heard, the game was originally supposed to come out on the launch days of the PlayStation 5 and Series X back at the end of 2020. So, yeah, so one delay and now possibly a second delay again. And look at it this way. GTA 5 trailer, 2011. Guess what? Let's do 10 years later. Guess what? 2021. Grand Theft Auto 5 trailer. So, yeah, as you can freaking see, like, there's literally nothing, literally, that is, there's nothing that's improving the gameplay experience or improving the graphics or anything like that that was shown on this freaking trailer for the PlayStation 5. So, and right now, I'm telling you, like, a lot of the fans are really, really upset, and they are, like, really bad at Rockstar, and they're freaking done. And honestly, Rockstar, yeah, it's it's really time to move on from Grand Theft Auto V. Like, it is time to, if this is the final version that is going to be coming out in March of 2022, yes, make this freaking be the last one, and freaking from now on, I you should just move on and not worry about Grand Theft Auto V literally any freaking more. But, yeah, as you can see, there is a lot of freaking negativity, and there's a lot of flaws with this trailer that basically does not make it look like the ultimate experience that Rockstar basically made it out to be that you would be getting on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S consoles. Like, literally, there is literally nothing that is an improvement whatsoever so i don't know if that is the exact final version of the game or not but i was from what i've known and a lot of people agree that that literally was basically just like a you know a re-release trailer of the playstation 4 and xbox one version but here's where also things do get a little bit out of hand when rockstar announced this on Sony's PlayStation 5 review event from last year, they basically showed PS3 footage. So, there basically, like, is a slight possibility that this version that you are seeing on the screen may not be the final version and may not be the, you know, the next-gen version that they're making it out to be. But, for basically just making a trailer like that and, you know... If even if it ain't that, that's just that's still not Rockstar at all. Like that is just not Rockstar whatsoever. But yeah, that is definitely the trailer as you guys can honestly see. And yeah, you can honestly tell that like literally, this literally looks exactly just like the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One version. The only freaking positive side that I have noticed with the trailer is that it does look slightly detailed because of it being in 4K, like especially with the clouds up here on this part of the trailer, I've noticed that the clouds absolutely do look slightly sharper. But look, you can literally tell on the clouds that literally, that is, the clouds look exactly like they look on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and even the Xbox 360 and PS3. Those clouds are exactly shaped the same because I remember this little bump right here on the right part of the screen like for real like that's a that's the exact same literally clouds that they have designed so yeah Rockstar has done a lot so much wrong with this trailer and honestly as much as the backlash that they are getting I honestly do hope that they end up learning their lesson and if it's not Rockstar, which I doubt it probably ain't, or I doubt that it probably is, it's most likely either Sony or Take-Two Interactive. Most likely Take-Two is what it is because they're the parent company of Rockstar. And because this game making the money, they want to keep milking it and milking it until the game ends up, you know, being dead in the ground, which ain't going to be for a long time, I can already almost guarantee you. But yeah... 
that was the trailer that was shown, and I did not notice about none of this until I watched a few YouTubers, and yeah, the trailer literally does not look like, the, it doesn't look like that the game is, you know, remastered as much as they said, it doesn't look improved or anything, it literally just looks like a mock-up of, of the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One version, and there is so many freaking flaws that they didn't put this trailer together right. So, yeah, I, I'm still going to buy this game just so we can test it out and check it out on our YouTube channel. But, yeah, I was really, really excited to see like how much better that this game would look and play on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. But, if it's just going to look like this with the 4K enhancements, you know, Rockstar would have been just better off to just basically enhance the current PS4 and Xbox One versions to play at 4K at possibly 60 FPS and just basically update the game to do all that if you play it on a PS5 or Series X like Rockstar could have only just done that vile backwards compatibility. But that pretty much is the trailer and yeah. A lot of the games and a lot of the fans of Rockstar are really, really not happy and they're very, very pissed at Rockstar games right now. And they honestly deserve it, in my personal opinion. Like, for real. They definitely deserve it as all of the lies that they said that, with, that they were going to do with improving the graphics and, you know, and doing all this, changing the weather, and it literally looks basically like the same like they didn't even do nothing to improve it at all they just basically copied it and just like yep that's it we copy the ps4 version there you guys go you're getting the ultimate experience of gta 5 if you know you can get that on the playstation 4 it just it's freaking nuts like they didn't even like i said they didn't even do nothing but just copy the ps4 version and, and be like yep that's it guys you're getting the expanded enhanced but that pretty much does this angry vamp video for today. This is Infernal Shard One for the win signing out. Hope y'all enjoy this angry vamp rant of GTA 5. Be sure to leave us a comment down in the comment section down below if you are absolutely very, very mad at Rockstar Games right now with this trailer that they put. And also make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button and turn on notifications so you'll be notified with every new content going forward being uploaded. But yeah, just leave us a comment down in the comment section down below of your thoughts with this GTA 5 trailer that literally that they lied about and, you know, not so much more. But yeah, that pretty much does it for the video today. So rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I walk around like that nigga, nigga on the trigger If I know the ones who smoke, I let it drop